Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Beer Review today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Omnipolo. Uh, this is their Daedalus. And it's an American Imperial style, it says here on the can. A double almond, double chocolate, double coffee, Imperial style with lactose, sugar, chocolate, coffee, and almonds added 12 percenter. Big beer now guys. Uh, and the way they've gotten the name, I couldn't tell if, if it was a D or an A. The, the D looks like an O. I mean, uh, whoever designed this. Very hard to read and decipher what the damn name of it was. So uh, it took me a few minutes to, of searching and typing in different characters to finally get something. I had to end up going to Bear Advocate and, and just typing in on the polo and seeing what the hell it was. So, uh, uh, some of this artwork is, uh, hmm, leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, but anyway, we'll find out what the beer is all about. Anyway, that's the main thing. And before I get too far, it said it was put in the can on February 26th of 21. But a 12 percenter, it's going to keep for a while, but if the coffee added, I don't know how long you'd want to keep one with coffee. That's entirely up to you. Some of it fades sometimes, some of it doesn't. So. Uh, these guys are out of Sweden, uh, so we shall see what this brings to the table. And uh, Untapped has exactly the same thing for the commercial description I just read off the back of the can. It says here, reminding us of flavorful cakes we used to eat. Uh, so maybe it's uh, something uh, that the Swedish people uh, uh, eat. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough about that. 12 ounce, 12 ounce. 12 percenter and a 16 ounce can, plain dang silver can with a stick on label. Into the glass we go. Got this pitch black, looks like motor oil coming out. Not pouring very much of a head, but you know, spoilish roll usually fixes that. By golly. And I'm going to spin that around so y'all can see the name on there. The D and the O looks exactly the same, so I couldn't tell if it was AI, AI, or DI, or DA. I mean, I couldn't, couldn't make it out. About a finger and a half of head on that poor, deep khaki colored, almost dark brown. There is absolutely no light coming through that. It is pitch. Black. Very dark beer. Big beer too at 12 percent. To the nose we go. Getting the chocolate. Hands of coffee. A little bit of nuttiness in there. And the reviews and the sites are all over the place. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't know what to expect here. It's got a really nice sweet aroma of the the, the nuttiness and the uh, chocolate or cocoa and a little bit of coffee on the nose so let's find out let's dive in cheers wow little bit of a bitterness bite there but I am getting everything on the taste it's on the nose might go against the grade on this one. I'm definitely getting the chocolate. Slight hint of coffee. Now the coffee's not off the chain. But it's got big time roasted malt and, and uh, chocolate.
Definitely a dessert beer. That's pleasant. The alcohol seems to be well hidden. Hmm. I like it. Back in pour going in. I don't know, you know, there's something that somebody didn't like about it uh, as far as not enough coffee or not enough nuttiness or not enough whatever. It's just drizzling out of there. Kind of thick on the bottom. I think we got it all out of there. Uh, very different artwork on there. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but the beer seems to be tasty. So it's right out of the fridge, guys, and these big heavy stops usually taste a little better once they come up to room temperature. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it for quite a while. It's warmed up to room temperature, and it's got a lot more boozier. Rather boozy. It does have nice chocolatey notes and uh, a hint of some nuttiness in there. Just a tad bit of coffee. But uh, now that it's warmed up, it's considerably more boozier than it was cold out of the fridge. So, uh, a little heavy on the booze. A little heavy on the booze. It's not quite as hidden as, uh, as a lot of 12 percenters are, but. Uh, Guess what it is there on that one. Uh, I, I'm not getting a huge amount of nuttiness on it and a, or a huge amount of coffee notes, but the chocolatey and the roasted malt notes are there. Uh, so, uh, decent beer. I mean, it's okay. I mean, I probably wouldn't buy this beer again. Uh, unless I just wanted a 12 percenter to get you in the hammerland quick. Uh, I mean, I'd probably do that. So, uh, I thought it was better cold than it, than it is warm. <laughs> so, uh, bottle chug. <sighs> Pleasant aroma. But uh, you can definitely pick up on the booze now that it's warmed up to room temperature. A lot of times it's hard to conceal 12%. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say any more. Final chuck. <sighs> Almost has a rubbing alcohol aroma and taste to it now. So, it's a B beer to me, guys. 85, that's where I'm going to put this. Uh, and I think I'm being generous there. Probably should be a B minus. Like I said, if you're going to drink this, drink it cold. Once it warms up to room temperature, you're going to find it has a, a slightly unpleasant taste and smell to it. So, uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 92. They're really impressed with it. I'm not going there. Untapped has it at 3.44. That's more like it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm giving it a little bit better grade than what Untapped is giving it, and not quite as good a grade as what Beer Advocate is giving. So, I'm right in the middle in between those two. So, if you've had this, Daedalos, D A I D A L O S, from Omnipolo, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.